cast into the wilderness, Harry and Meghan sent dire warning as royals brace for book. The Duke of Sussex's upcoming memoir, Spare, has received widespread attention amid fears it could contain criticisms of the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be cast into wilderness by the royal family if the Duke's book is an all-out onslaught against the royal family, an expert has warned. The much-anticipated memoir from Prince Harry, titled Spare, will finally be released on January 10, 2023. When announcing the news last month, publisher Penguin Random House said the book will detail with raw unflinching honesty his journey from trauma to healing, adding, for Harry. This is his story at last. The book's cover has drawn widespread attention. It shows the Duke of Sussex looking directly into the camera, along with the words Prince Harry and Spare. The title is a reference to the phrase The Heir and the Spare. But there are fears the memoir could contain attacks against the royal family, triggered by the controversial interview from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021. Niall Gardner a foreign policy expert and royal family enthusiast, warned in an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, the title of the book sets a resentful tone from the start. It will likely not be one that will be full of hope and aspiration. Rather it will be a book filled with a lot of rage and the title is a reflection of that anger. Harry and Meghan will be cast into wilderness and lose royal titles if this is an all-out onslaught against the royal family. Mr. Gardner believes Harry's book is in danger of doing a great deal of damage to the royal family based on its title alone. He warned it could be the publishing equivalent of a grenade being thrown into Buckingham Palace, and that the impact on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could be catastrophic. The royal family enthusiast added, This is going to be an angry and bitter book. It could do a great deal of damage to the royal family. The tone of book based on the title, looks to be very dark. This book could be the publishing equivalent of a grenade being thrown into Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace will be very concerned and there will be a lot of nervousness. It will be a massive bridge burner with the royal family and serves no real constructive purpose. The long-term consequences for the monarchy are very damaging, while the impact on Harry and Meghan's standing in the royal family will be catastrophic. In March 2021, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex sat down for a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, some 12 months after they relinquished their roles as working members of the royal family when they moved to the U.S. During the interview, the couple alleged there had been several conversations within the royal family about the skin tone of their soon-to-be-born baby, Archie. Prince William quickly leapt to the defense of the monarchy, and later stressed, We are very much not a racist family. The couple also accused the royal family of ignoring Meghan's cries for mental health support and had left her feeling suicidal. Buckingham Palace issued a rare public statement, which said the claims were concerning and would be addressed by the family privately. In a press release for Harry's book, publisher Penguin Random House said, Spare takes readers immediately back to one of the most searing images of the 20th century, two young boys, two princes walking behind their mother's coffin as the world watched in sorrow, and horror. As Diana, Princess of Wales, was laid to rest, billions wondered what the princes must be thinking and feeling, and how their lives would play out from that point on. For Harry, this is his story at last. With its raw, unflinching honesty, Spare is a landmark publication full of insight, revelation, self-examination, and hard-won wisdom about the eternal power of love over grief. When Harry announced details of the book in 2021, he said in a statement, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful.